I don't have much to say. Just stick around and watch this video. I'll explain later. Stay tuned. All right, I'm gonna zip you guys up and I'll see you guys in a bit. Oh yeah, it's walleye fishing. Let's see if they're back here. Let's see if I can do this correctly so you guys can hear me, you know? First cast with the new line. Let's see how that goes. Sorry for the rain, guys. I might have to turn you guys down just a little bit so the rain doesn't get on the water. I mean, the rain doesn't get on the lens. <laughs> I like this new line, though. That way you guys can see it more. Oh, that cast four. Nice. Okay. Very minimum effort, too. Just got to figure out which color, which uh, pattern they want, you know. Got to cast around for a little bit. It's raining, so it changes everything. Just got to find out where they're hanging out. That's it. Once I find out where, it's over. Got him. Yep. Got the big fish. Oh, it broke me off. What? Dude, it broke me off. It's a big fish. Dang, six pound test. Got him. Oh, that's a drum. Yep, it's a drum. Big drum. There we go. Crush the jig. First fish of the day. Not too bad. Oh, dude, look that one right here. Right by the freaking... Oh, it's a walleye. Nice. <laughs> right in front of me. I just turned on the GoPro. Yep, it's a short. That's a short for sure. <sighs> what the heck? Right in front of me. Bro. I just made a cast, stopped the recording. Went back and retrieved and... Dude, crushed it. Nice. That's the 15, 16 incher. As you can see here, I'm beating up the jig pretty bad under the rocks down there. <laughs> it's either a bad paint job or it's just really hard bottom. And um, what I'm doing is I'm just letting the current take my jig, letting it bounce naturally and work naturally in the current. I feel like the water is a little dirtier, so I'm giving the fish some time to actually look at it. Sucks. Yeah, that's how I always tell people use a bump board. Nice.
Cool, we got one. Yeah, it's 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 it ain't worth it. It's it ain't not. Worth it. It's just a fish, man. Like it's right. not worth it, dude. For, for what that? It's like if you get a ticket, that's free fish for the whole year. Exactly. That's why I don't understand. Yeah, my rule of thumb is if it's not past that 18 yeah. mark, just throw it back. Yeah. Me not too. even right Me on too. it. Just Me throw too. it away, dude. Me too. Me too. Man, that sucks. And we're back to where we failed. <laughs> dude, it's so freaking tough out. That's really tough. Fish just isn't eating. They gotta eat, right? You got to. Oh, I got one. Nice. She got one. <laughs> it's, uh... I got a, I got a channel. What the heck? <laughs> the channel. Ah, just got a freaking channel catfish. Nice. Okay. Way to wake me up. I'm gonna go down there. Oh shit, slippery side. My boot is stuck. Got one. Oh, it's a nice walleye. Nice. Oh, it's a big one. It's a big one. That's a big one. Yes. Yeah. Oh, jeez. That's a big one. Relax. Dude, look at all, oh jeez, look at all the warts on his head, dude. Gross. Nice. Oh, nice. Ugh, it's so ugly. Even though it's not like disease or anything, it's just, yeah, you know, I'm gonna keep them. Yep, right there. 18 and almost 19 inches right there. You see, it's a, it's a keeper. They got scars on them, but it's not, it's not a disease or anything. It's just, it's, you just cut it off and it's fine. You guys can see that. I think that's just from them like bumping into each other so much, you know, so they get it. But it's fine. It's not parasite or anything. It's gonna throw them in the, bucket and we're good <sighs> nice got a big fish on I don't know what it is Maybe a carp or sheephead. It's a channel. <laughs> How the heck did I hook into a channel?
There we go. We got another one. I don't know what it is. Gosh, dude. Fucking channels, man. Channels after channels after channels. There's so many channels. One wall line there. There we go. There we go. That's a bite. That's a wall line. Nope, it's a channel. <laughs> channel eat my jig. Oh my goodness. What the heck, man? Hey, where'd you guys come from, dude? Come on, walleye. One more, y'all. I'll be happy. One more. Oh, I got him. She got a bite. Yep. I don't know what that is, but I got a bite, dude. I think it's a channel or a drum. Oh, it's a freaking channel again. What the heck? Bro, how? Dude, I wasn't even reeling it in. I still hooked onto a fish. What the heck, man? I just left it there and it still hooked itself. Unfreaking believable. Alright. I'm doing best to see if you guys can hear me, but. So here's the situation, okay? I noticed people out here, they come to fish for walleyes, right? A guitar pick, but, anyways. They come to fish for walleyes and then bring one of these. So they bring one of these, or they bring one of those uh, ribbon ones, right? The super papery thin ones. This one, I can say that, like, if it's past 18, then you're on a safe zone, right? My rule of thumb is pass it by at least, at least a quarter. That's just my safe zone. If it's right at 18, I just let the fish go. But anyways, not all river system and body of water have the same regulation, so keep that in mind. But this, this right here is a measuring board, okay? Get yourself a measuring board if you want to keep some walleyes. At least in the area that I'm fishing in, 18 inches is the legal limit. Some areas are 15, some areas are 18. I'm going to show you guys exactly how to measure a walleye, okay? I caught this walleye earlier, I measured it and everything. What's nice about this board, you get it from the tip. Make sure my, uh, my screen here is good, okay. Make sure you get a tip. You see how the mouth is closed and it's touching the tip of the board, okay? Lay it flat. The tail, make sure. I want to make sure I'm not going too far in. Turn the lighting here. See that right there? Make sure the tail is folded. Don't measure it like this, okay? Don't spread out the fin. In the handbook, you pinch it, and that's how you get your max limit of what size it is, okay? Right here, it's 18. And three quarter right there. I don't know if you guys can see that. So it's past 18. So we're gonna measure it as close as possible, okay? As you can see that right there. And even on the tape, tape measure right here, it's a little past an 18 and three quarters. You guys see that? So on a board, it's official because look, it's touching at the end of the board all the way to the fold of tail. And right there, it shows you. 18 and three quarters, okay? So that's how you determine your legal limits. In my opinion, I feel like this is the safest way to do it. If you don't have yourself a board, get yourself a board because this is, it's just not worth getting a ticket, right? Or getting a citation or just getting called out on. Again, get yourself a board if you want to be on a safe zone and not get a ticket. And if you do use a measuring tape, make sure, make sure you are past the 18 inch mark or whatever regulation you are make sure you pass it by at least a quarter or a half all right that's just to be on the safe side so i'll see you guys at the car
So hey guys, I thought I'd just explain that to you guys real quick. As I know a lot of people, they, they catch the fish and they throw the measuring uh, tape right over the fish. They bend the measuring tape over the fish and that's just not the accurate way of doing it. If you do use a measuring tape, make sure your measuring tape is on the ground flat and then put the fish on top of the measuring tape and then, you know, measure your fish. I didn't really like listen. I think he just got a warning and he didn't know, you know, he's not from the area. So the DNR just kind of like, yeah, you know, this is how you measure the fish and uh, you know, next time just be careful. So warning was cool. He checked everybody. Uh, again, it's just not worth getting a ticket or getting your stuff taken away from the warden. And it's just a hot mess if you do ever get caught like doing it that way. So with that being said, hopefully you guys enjoyed this video. Hopefully you guys learned something today. We'll try again. Stay tuned. I'll see you guys next time. Peace.